March 28th, 1942. My mother will be happy. In two weeks, I'll have the reliable husband she's always planned for me. But that's, that's my mother's, my mother's plan. plan. Lawrence may have my hand, but Ronald has my heart. right next door. Oh, and on Saturday I'm having a party, so I hope you don't mind the noise. Bye! July 19th, 1942. I should come up with a better excuse, but it's not hard to get out of this house. Lawrence was absorbed in his work as usual, and I received the same stale answer. I told him I was going to walk Blanche home, but I only accompanied her to the end of the street before I left her to meet with Ronald. Blanche didn't mind. It's almost becoming our routine. Hello? Jason? Yeah. Hi, honey. You sounded different for a second there. How's the move going? I'm already missing you so much. Well, between the new job and moving in, it's just a slow process. Yeah, I'm sure it's tough getting it done by yourself. I wish I could come over and help you, dear. That's fine, Mom. Uh, I'm just here, hanging around, you know. Have you found your way around yet, in the new city? I don't want you just sitting in that house alone, letting things get to you. I'll make sure to get some fresh air. Okay, well... If anything is going on, or if you even just need to talk to someone, don't hesitate to call my little peanut. Love you. Okay. Love you too, Mom. Talk to you later. July 19th, 1942. Ronald and I had a great afternoon. He surprised me with a wonderful little picnic. He even remembered to bring my favorite food. It's just like when we were young and he would plan little adventures for us. He never fails to make me feel special. But I can't help but feel that pang of guilt. Even though I loved him years before Lawrence came along, I know that I'm now married to a man whose social status makes up for what he lacks in passion or romance. Oh, let me help you with that. Oh, thanks so much! Oh, no problem. <laughs> oh, what you working on? Oh, this, uh, it's not mine. I just found it in the house when I was moving in. Yeah. Oh, is that something that old lady left behind? She was such a grouch the time she did come into the house. Well, from what I'm reading, it sounds pretty interesting. Do you have that dish I let you borrow? I'm having another get-together tonight and I wanted to use it. Oh yeah, let me get that for you. Okay, thanks! Jason, it's Lily. I was really hoping you'd answer because I finally got my thoughts together about this moving situation. I know it's a great opportunity for you, but I just don't know how it's going to work for me. And my parents just can't bear the idea of me being so far away. I, I just need to talk to you in person. I love you so much and I just have to talk to you. 
I love, I you, love you so much. And I hope you can see that. I know you don't understand the choices I had to make for myself, but I couldn't leave the life I was living here to take my chances with you. I hope you find in your heart to forgive me. Or I hope you understand enough to move on and find love again. I don't wish for you to be unhappy in any way. This romance of ours might have ended, but I hope some part of you takes joy in knowing that a corner of my heart will forever be devoted entirely to you. Will you forgive me in time for moving on? June 3rd, 1987. Hard decisions can define your life. Leaving Lily behind and knowing she has to move on will always hurt me. I understand why you couldn't wait for Ronald, even though I know he stays in your heart. Life doesn't always let you hold on to the people you love, and sometimes all we have left are the memories of the better times. I was selfish in asking Lily to give up her own dreams just to follow mine, and I know why she had to stay. And I think that deep down, no matter how much it hurt, Ronald understood that too.